what is up airsofters so what I'm showing you guys today is a very inexpensive way to have a GoPro that's not a GoPro with the same quality so what I'm showing you guys today is an Akaso I don't think I'm pronouncing that right AKASO so it's the closest I'm gonna get an Akaso action camera shoots in 4k you can even see the little thing on there and I'm gonna make sure that you guys see plenty of footage of me using this because uh, you guys have actually already seen footage of me using this I don't own a GoPro I found that they're just too expensive and not really worth the money uh, because you can buy one that's just as good for less so this cost me about 50 bucks I bought it on Amazon the price varies depending on how many they have in stock um, this is the EK 700 uh, right now I know there are other models out by the same company but I'll tell you what this functions exactly as a GoPro does it works very well you have the power button right here you hold it on you get a little screen back here a Casa, and then boom so you know it it you can get it to shoot in 4k right now I have it shooting at 60 frames per second in 1080p so I have no complaints ah camera reception you can connect this with your phone um, and you can via Bluetooth transfer footage back and forth between your phone and this camera uh, it also has at the bottom or on the side here it has a mini SD which I went this is a 64 gig cost me ten dollars um, I can film for days with this uh, and then I have the the larger SD adapter you can also plug in the mini HDMI and a normal I don't even know what those cords are. I'm gonna be honest I don't know what those cords are called I know they work with LG phones and most things made by Android I just can't think of what it's called but it has multiple different settings you can take pictures with it you can take footage you can take slow-mo you can take time-lapse you can do all sorts of things with it um, it comes with so the my thing my camera came with this case <laughs> very familiar looking it's got a double lock system so you pop the top it's still closed you push in the push in the back it pops open. You, the black tape doesn't come in there. I just don't like the rattling of the camera. And it's just loose enough that it rattles slightly. So I have it that it's a very, very snug fit. So, you know, it, sometimes it takes a little bit because I don't like moving the tape. So you gotta just line it up, fit it in nicely. Close it, keep the pressure on, up, lock, and you're in. Boom. It's that easy. I love this thing. I mean, it was worth the money. It came with, uh, I want to say, eight different types of brackets to put it on, um, including... A, they call it the bicycle bracket, but I found that you can fit them on barrels of guns very easily. You can also fit them on scopes. Uh, so you can like put your scope that you're looking through it, and then your camera's sitting on top of it, which you guys have may have seen in other footage that I've done. All right, come on, camera. Excellent. I love this thing. I've used it in five, six, seven videos already. Um, and I usually may use it for gameplay. You can actually see right here, there's a gameplay that's going to be going up or might already be up at this point. This little chip, I took a BB right to the lens. Hit! Yeah, this thing's been shot more than once because it sits on my boonie. Okay. So, the way I put the camera on the boonie is actually what I did is I cut a small incision in my boonie it was a cheap one you can see the cut and then i uh i put in one of the mounts and then quite simply i unscrew the i leave so make sure if you do this you leave one of these on it no matter what even if the camera isn't on leave it on there because you lose these left and right then and then tighten it down You just got to make sure it's angled properly the way I have mine I know how it sits on my hat or on my boonie you got to make sure though that you don't have it angled down like this because right now this is focusing down so if I would lift a gun I would be messed up make sure it's center make sure it's not off but either way you'll you'll figure that out as you go nonetheless this thing functions great and then plus I don't even have to like so sometimes when you have a helmet like a bump helmet if it's on it you sometimes run into the issues that you can't see what's on the screen you can't see if you're recording sometimes so what I have to do all I have to do to stop recording is I can either just hit it and trust it stopped or I can take it 
pull the backside of my boonie down. Recording. And. Done. It's that easy. Because I'll stop between. I won't film whole games. I'll film, like, if I think I'm going to hit an engagement, I'll just film there. Uh, you know, sometimes it causes me to miss moments, but I don't like running the battery down, especially if I'm going to need it the whole day, because I only have one of these. It does come with a second battery, but I never charge it. I just use the one I have. Um, I might go and start actually using... Shit. See what I mean? You don't have it on, you lose it. The batteries are removable. So, like I said, it comes with this external case. It comes with the camera itself. It comes with five or six of the little brackets for different uses. Um... It comes with the extra battery, and it comes with a... It doesn't come with a, a memory card, though. And there's no internal memory. You need a card for this thing. So, you know, I just... I went out and I bought one. I use it all the time. So, all together, memory card. If you buy a boonie, you're still spending less than $100. So, this really is worth it. And you've seen the quality that it shoots in. So, you know, and it does film in 4K. So if you want to film in 4K, you can. The Akaso EK700, beautiful camera, works really well. I use it for almost everything. I would suggest it to you guys. This has been Paul from Valley Central Airsoft. Happy airsofting.